The Noferno sealing system is used worldwide for the sealing of penetrations carrying several pipes. The system combines optimum durable sealing with ease of installation. Installing Noferno is an easy job thanks to the limited number of components needed to realize a fire safe and gas and watertight sealing. The components of the system are Noferno filler sleeves and Noferno sealant. Optimum installation friendliness is realized by the availability of loose sleeves as well as multi sets of 10 sleeves. Because of the viscosity of the sealant, a professional sealant gun is used for installing Noferno sealant. Other tools used are flat nose pliers, a piece of wood, a cloth, and liquid soap. Before starting the installation work, Clean the inner wall of the conduit as well as the surface of the ducted pipes thoroughly and remove any dirt and rust. The free space between the wall of the conduit and the ducted pipes is filled with Noferno multi sleeves. For filling larger openings efficiently, the multi-sleeves can be rolled up to make a fitting bundle of sleeves. The filler sleeves are available in two diameters, type 1812 and 2719. To provide sufficient stability and fire safety, the optimum ratio should be about 1 to 2. To fill the remaining smaller openings in between the multi-sleeves, the required amount of multi-sleeves can be torn off easily. To obtain the required mechanical stability, the complete set of filler sleeves must fit tightly in the conduit. Filler sleeves are inserted in the remaining smaller openings. If necessary, pliers can be used to ensure tight fitting of the sleeves. A piece of wood with a distance of 20 millimeters marked on it is used to push the filler sleeves 20 millimeters into the conduit. It's advisable to perform a final check on the packing of the filler sleeves before finishing the penetration by applying the sealant layer. Prepare some soapy water to finish the layer of sealant after it is applied. Make sure some sealant cartridges are readily available so the sealant can be applied as quickly as possible. The 20 mm free space in front of the penetration is filled with Noferno sealant. The conduit should be overfilled with the sealant because some Noferno sealant will be pushed between and into the empty filler sleeves during further finishing. The viscosity of the sealant guarantees optimum flow characteristics and prevents the sealant from sagging or dripping off. When working on larger conduits, the sealant should be applied in two or more parts. This prevents hardening of the sealant during the finishing work. 
depending on the humidity, the amount of sealant applied should be no more than can be finished in 10 minutes. Therefore, the preparation of all tools is of great importance. The noferno sealant is pressed down with a cloth sprayed with water, not soapy water. By doing this, additional adhesion is achieved in and between the filler sleeves, thus optimizing mechanical stability. Next, the sealant is smoothed by hand. Your hands should be thoroughly wet with soap and water to prevent the sealant from sticking to your hands. To avoid adhesion problems, the soapy water should not be applied in the areas where sealant will be applied at a later stage. The remaining part of the conduit can now be sealed by applying the sealant. After application, the sealant layer is pressed down and smoothed. Finally, the other side of the conduit is sealed in the same way.